Sea of Thieves could have faked their water like most games do, but they didn't. Rare decided to build a real ocean simulation, the expensive Hollywood way, and cram it into a multiplayer game. Most games use something called Gerstner waves. It's basically stacking a few wave patterns on top of each other. They'll throw down like 8 to 10 of them and maybe randomize them a bit. And it works. But after a while, your brain notices the pattern. The waves start feeling predictable even artificial, like someone copy-pasted the same texture over and over. But Sea of Thieves doesn't do that. Rare uses the same system that Hollywood VFX studios used for movies like Titanic, Waterworld, and Pirates of the Caribbean. And this method called FFT Ocean System. But this wasn't the easy path. Rare's engineers knew this would be brutally expensive, but they committed anyway. The FFT or Fast Fourier Transform sounds intimidating, but here's what it actually means. Imagine a grid where every cell represents one type of wave. This cell is a tiny ripples. This cell is medium chop. And this is a massive swells. Each cell stores information like how big the wave is, which direction it travels, how fast it moves based on real physics, and how strong it should be. But here's the thing, at this point, these aren't waves. They are just numbers sitting in memory. The FFT is the mathematical tool that takes all this frequency data and calculates what the actual ocean should look like. And the FFT uses a complex mathematical equation to combine all those small wave components and calculate the height of the entire ocean surface every single point all at once. And this results in something called height fields. Basically, a height map of the entire ocean. Every point on the surface now has a value. How high or low the water should be at that exact spot. The GPU takes this height field and physically sculpts the water surface every single frame, pushing points up to create peaks and pulling them down to create valleys. Instead of saying, put this wave here, that wave there, the system asks what wave sizes exist in a real ocean, then calculates hundreds or thousands of wave components at once. And this approach comes from researcher Jerry Tessendorf, who developed it back in 2001 for film quality ocean simulation. His work became the foundation for how modern VFX and games handle realistic water. Rare studied his research and realized that this is how you simulate a real ocean, not a game ocean, a real one. But what did it cost them? Rare's rendering engineer admitted that drawing this water can eat up to 40% of your frame time when you're staring at the ocean. Most studios would see that number and immediately look for shortcuts. But Rare said, ship it anyway. This is why Sea of Thieves Ocean feels chaotic in a good way. Different wave sizes move at different speeds, like real world. Big swells roll slowly, medium waves bounce around, tiny ripples flicker quickly. As they move, they naturally mix with each other. And when two wave peaks meet, they stack up and create an even bigger peak. You get variety at every scale automatically. The ocean never truly repeats. But waves alone aren't enough. Here's where it gets interesting. Rare started with photorealistic water. Hollywood grade accurate physics the whole thing. Then they deliberately stylized it. The art director wanted a painted adventure book feel, not a sailing sim. So they cranked up the glowing colors and enhanced everything. But, and this is crucial, they refused to simplify the underlying simulation. The system adjusts based on distance. When you are near your ship, you see high detail water with all the small ripples. But when standing far away, it uses a simplified version that blends into the atmosphere. 